Gary, some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadence, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Huzzah! I learned a long time ago that there's no sense getting all riled up every time a bunch of idiots give you a hard time. In the end, the universe tends to unfold as it should. Plus, I have a really large penis. That keeps me happy. So long, gay boys! Yeah! It's been boring! Woke! Woke! Now, what it got here is a scrotum and nothing else. You look goofy. <laughs> Here they come and the crowd cannot wait Oh, hail Friday night tight I apologize cause I'm probably late Good Sunday morning or afternoon or evening, wherever the hell you are. I'm going to burp. Unlike as I will mute it. Um, it's time for a square up. I just drink a lot of coffee. Hello, chat. Hello. My N-words, my nerdrotics. What's going on? Uh, Jason D, Patrick M, Smooth DJ. Thoughts on narrow boating with Nigel. What's narrow boating? Is it like narrow boats? I have no idea. Uh, cops, I can't even say that. Flave, uh, Warren and Bly, Spider Grinch, Nick XH, Spruce Wood Steven, the Fox Wolf, Reticent Voice, 
What did Reticent Voice say? Uh, don't spoil Dune 2, Gary. Why haven't you seen it yet? Are you waiting to see it in 70 millimeter? It's like sold out forever. Uh, I'm not going to spoil Dune Part 2. We've I've already talked about Dune Part 2 about as much as I'm... Well, we'll talk about the box office, but the movie itself... I've, we talked about it on Friday Night Tights. I've done a video on it. Um, I'll say Dune Part 2 is a really good movie. That is not uh worth the hyperbole that some of it are giving it like it's a really good movie uh i don't i don't believe it's uh it's empire strikes back or lord of the rings uh far from it it's it's missing a lot of things that those two films have that being said it's especially considering the trash we've gotten uh the opening weekend looks like it's doing pretty damn good i thought it'd do 200 million worldwide doesn't look like it's gonna hit that and it didn't beat taylor swiss open opening weekend but it still did pretty damn good for hardcore sci-fi that's almost unadaptable according to some of the book fans that's pretty freaking good in these times and it might have legs it might have some serious legs we will have to see could it be this year's oppenheimer i don't think so because there's no like barbie to go with it but i think well, let's see. There's not much competition coming along until maybe Ghostbusters. And that's uh, three weeks away. That's three weeks away. Uh, there, well, fifth, uh, actually, no. 12 days away is the, uh, hang on. I'm pretty sure it's coming out on the 15th. I checked the other day. Uh, but uh, coming out on the 15th is... The American Society of Magical Negroes. So that's circled on my calendar for sure. Uh, but you know what? I'm hoping Ghostbusters is pretty good. Despite Pat Oswalt being in like such a that's such a tired casting move. So tired. So hey, let's get to the super chats because that's what we're here to do. Uh yes, fake geek girl interrupted. That's of course uh uh rachel uh I, I don't even remember her last name mary sue who uh came out and said recently that the x-men was never for neck beards and uh republicans uh when they throw out neck beards by the way uh they might as well just say nerds in their basement you know and, and these are supposed to be the geeks these are supposed to be the geeks. Uh, this bitch ain't no geek. Uh, she might have liked, uh, you know, she might have watched some cartoons, bought some pop vinyls, um, and then she took her women's studies course and thought her li life was changed. Her, her, her and her nine cats and her ten roommates. Rachel Leishman. From the Mary Sue. But uh, the time of the fake geek girl has ended, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and moving on. <laughs> Fucking see ya. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way, way out. They were just, uh, they just liked Thing because it was popular. Uh, fans make Thing popular. Thing gets popular things stop being popular and nerds still love it fake geek girls like popular thing and then jump right off once it's not popular there's your difference goodbye fake geek girl no one will miss you no one will miss you there's fake geek boys too but i just use the term fake geek girl for them too is that okay just makes things easier just makes things easier. We got a couple of new ones. Let's get to them right now. We got a happy plague doctor has been a member for 11 months. I'm looking forward to the civil war movie. I am too, in a lot of weird ways. <laughs> it's Alex Garland. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, not your friend pal for 499 says Dune 2 is the greatest movie ever. Nitpickers are gay. Uh, it, Dune 2 is not the greatest movie ever. It's really good though. It's really good. And uh, uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't call, um, I mean, I'm glad you like it. That's awesome. We could disagree. That's a normal nerd conversation. But I think a lack of uh, of um, 
heart and soul is not a nitpick. I think it's, uh, and that comes from the source material. And that's the same problem I have with the book, right? So there you go. It's all a matter of taste, right? But was it ruined by intersectional feminism and wokeness? No. I mean, that last scene was stupid, but it doesn't ruin the movie, you know? And Zendaya does, like, she's just really average in it. I'll just say, not uh, not overwhelming. She's She is a star because she has a lot of social media followers and a lot of simps. A lot of simps. Which, I mean, listen, I'm 54-year-old dude. She looks like a little girl to me. So, like, not even remotely. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay. Let's get to the square up. We'll start, uh, we'll start with most recent. So we'll start with last Friday. Uh, we got to hit uh, some real BBC, some uh, FNT from last week and this week. That's, that's the plan today. Um, <clears throat> Forbidden Frontier returns tonight on this channel. Uh, we will be discussing Antarctica. The mysteries of Antarctica. Some of the, some of the conspiracies about Antarctica are effing crazy, but it's definitely weird down there definitely weird uh pj for ten dollars this is a stream lab donation got my flight and hotel book today can't wait to meet y'all in vegas p.s screw you gary for making me spend money on this platform still love you though that was a donation though so you didn't but sorry uh this is uh the main platform this is where it's at i like being in the belly of the beast getting away with what i can and quite frankly, until there's a serious uh, contender, uh, this is where the videos will stay. Now, uh, I think there's a lot of live streaming contenders that could uh, compete uh, almost immediately if they play their cards right. Uh, but video contender, that's tough. I hope it happens, though. I'm rooting for somebody. I'm rooting for Rumble. Uh, I, you know, I was on BitChute, and then the link got broken. I never bothered fixing that same with odyssey but uh yeah yeah plus you know i've only got so much time in the day uh but i may have some news soon on a couple of things I, i'm doing more this year than i plan to do ever again to be honest with you uh, as far as outside like working on the channel got the book that you guys know about and i've got another thing and that's it. <laughs> that's it. It's just the channel after that. Because, uh, you know, I'm an old man. I like my free time. I like my free time. I enjoy, you know, we do a video. We did two last week. Wow. Um, I like doing a video and taking a couple days off. You know, I get caught up on stuff and I get to watch things like Shogun, which is really good. And I get to watch a lot of shit. Uh, I got to prepare for X-Men 97. That's kind of coming around the corner. I have my bootlegs of uh, all the X-Men uh, 90s cartoons, which is great. 76 episodes, I believe. Longest running Marvel cartoon until, I think, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, which I hated. I, I hated Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, Jimmy DS Rec Room for $10. I watched Chrissy tell her story about the Mace incident. She had a whole bunch of female YouTubers with her. What uh, was that? The moon blood cast <laughs> gives a whole new meaning to the term streaming. LOL, Jesus. Um, now, I don't know what the security situation was. They got to watch out for that. But, you know, sometimes things fall through the cracks. Everybody's okay. And it's, it's really freaking gay that we have to even think about that because, uh, you know, it's just gay because, you know, Chrissy gets into it politically, but they're just fucking jokes. Right. And what we do is just talk about movies and TV. And, and, you know, my kid was even telling me, it's like, it's so weird. It, it, it is, it is weird, but that's the internet. That's the internet. It's part of it. It's surreal. Uh, and it sucks that I have to think about getting, you know, think about, we are getting, um, we have security at, and have had it at the past meetups. Although there's 
like been one problem out of how many meetups have we have? I can't even, I think it's 10 or 11 we've had at this point. Only had one problem at one. Uh, and, and it come, it came from another content creator. So there you go. Crazy crane, uh, six thirty three. Keep your, uh, lit bays. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. B a I apostrophe S yes. keep your lit bays. John Krupp for $5. Uh, I'm saddened about the Superman leak. The logo is horrible. It looks like a no symbol, not an S symbol. It's the, it's the kingdom come symbol. I would have rather had a proper S, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, James Gunn has a big hill to climb. And, and I think he's going about it all wrong, but uh, I could be proven wrong and he could shove that in my face and I'll come here and go, man, that was a great Superman movie. Thank God. I hope that's the case. I don't think so, though. It's coming out in two years. Um, you know, the whole argument about superhero fatigue going back and forth. Uh, you have to start. There's genres and mediums come and go but you can always have an outlier if it's really good that that's your uh, that's your exception that's your exception with the binge rule the weekly rule superhero fatigue everything so like to to satisfy the um the people who take things quite literally yes there's always gonna if it's a movie's really good no matter what genre or medium uh it it, it could do well like a good musical uh the musical used to be quite uh the genre it's gone but they still make them once in a while the western ruled it's gone but they still make them once in a while and the same thing can go for superhero movies but that doesn't take away the fact that there is fatigue within the people within the community that makes them because they never liked them in the first place they never respected them if they did there wouldn't be fatigue because we'd be getting good movies and that's what the fans have been talking about because we actually care about the legacy we like hey i you know i i i want to see genre films and television shows i still want to see them but they're being driven into the ground with solace remakes and uh speaking of which the next super chat will cover that and uh create a bankruptcy uh damo davies for five british pounds hello from the uk what are your thoughts on the x-files scully is really great female lead jillian and uh jillian anderson david duchovny were great i uh, love it the remake from, um, oh, I'm blanking on his name now. Ryan Coogler. Ryan Coogler is coming and it's got their blessing and it's going to suck. It's going to suck. Uh, the X-Files was of its time. Of its time. There was a big, you know, UFO conspiracy thing in the 90s. Art Bell fueled that show, by the way. Absolutely fueled that show. Most of the ideas, if not all the ideas, came from the Art Bell show. And uh, conspiracies prior to that. Uh, but it was of its time. Not sure they could pull it off now, especially if they do DEI files. Pam H for $5. Gary, did I hear? Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, if they do the X files, it will be two black lesbians working for the FBI. And by the way, we look at the FBI a little differently now than we did back then. I certainly do. Not that I was a fan of the FBI, but, uh, it's existence was like, I was whatever at the time. Now it shouldn't exist at all. Not even the search for UFOs. Fuck the FBI disband it now. Now, if they make an X files with the FBI is, uh, <laughs> fucking evil, you know, cause it is. And, and, and the aliens are trying to save the human race from the FBI. Okay. <laughs> I'm down with that. Um, and they'll still be black lesbians in the FBI. Uh, Pam H for five dollars. Gary, did I hear you say you guys might be in Milwaukee? Milwaukee later this year. Yes, you did. You did. I'll be there this summer. I'm spending uh some time there this summer because that's where my brother in law lives. We're gonna hit the lake, do a little jet skiing, you know. Old Renaissance nerd for $19.99. Just got back from seeing Dune Part 2 and IMAX. Really good. Have a shirt for you guys. Selling soon. Can either of you uh, get one to Melanie? Keep being a bunch of figs, my fellow boomers. Hashtag Halo Fellowship. Hail Frank Gore. Uh, I mean, maybe I, Melanie's in the Texas state. 
I am in the Texas state, but we are hundreds of miles apart. Uh, but if you send it to maybe Garrett's quarter, quarter black Garrett's PO box, that's a possibility. I don't know if Melanie has a PO box or not. Uh, Matt B for five British pounds. I sent for new nerd cookies, Battlestar vids. They're good. I like nerd cookies. She's cool. Well, you have Papa Gundam on again. We miss him. Yes. Uh, let's get him on soon. I'll tell X-Ray Girl. Yeah, it's been too long. We need a Papa Gundam back on. Now that he's live streaming, too. He's doing great, by the way. Save your gambit for $5. Uh, DeMeo or DeJayo. DeMeo or DeJayo. Uh, Bo DeMeo. It's De DeMeo. Uh, X-Men 97 writer made Bishop look like him. Also, the voice of Gambit has changed. A lot of voices have changed. I wonder what is behind the scenes uh, story will come. I, You can't go home again. Uh, it would be cool if they just made a... I would be utterly surprised if X-Men 97 was just a follow-up in tone to X-Men 94 and it doesn't fall into the current day tropes and ruin what X-Men was. Especially when all these fuckers who only watch the you know the cartoon or even just x-men evolution and maybe cracked open a couple of you know post 2016 x-men comics want to want to tell us what the x-men is show us your long boxes show us your long boxes save your gambit for five dollars uh i read that one uh mclovin Sting slash gore, says Jackson Cagle for $2. Yes, Matt B for $5 or five British pounds. Sorry, proper money. Hail to the fellowship. Lock it in. Yay. Uh, Rick Flair for $2 says Jeremy is gay. Woo. Yep, he is. Uh, Yokozuna for $2 says don't make me leg drop on you. Uh, Rook takes Rook for uh, $9.99. Says Warhammer 40K is one of the few IPs that needs a cinematic TV universe. Way too much lore to make sense of it otherwise i don't I, dude I, I think there's too much for even a tv show it would have to be like stargate right it would have to have like multiple or star trek star trek or star stargate multiple lengthy popular spinoffs and i don't think that would cover a just and i don't know just the basic shit that would cover one percent of it but hey uh, Warhammer 40k fans, I would say Henry Cavill's your only hope outside of that. Don't let anybody adapt anything. Just enjoy it the way it is. Tell Frank Gore to watch Reacher. He admitted recently on a stream not having seen it. Yeah, well, F Frank Gore is a movie guy. He watches some TV shows, but he's mostly a movie guy. Guy watches a movie almost every day. John Neeson. I am more of a, I would say I would lean more to the TV side, the prestige series size side, because I like serialized storytelling. I'll watch more TV than, a, yeah, I would take a shot at a weird prestige series before I would watch some independent film. It's just me. Uh, Grayski, 499, been a really rough few years for me. I'm sorry. Uh, trying to begin a YouTube career of my own soon. You guys help keep me going. And make me laugh. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. It, whatever keeps you going, just keep going. Things get better. Just remember to like start YouTube to have fun. To have fun. Make it a hobby. Not too sure about the career thing. Uh, because while sitting, you know, like reading questions here is uh, physically not demanding mentally not demanding at all for me um because i have this you know we all have our own experience i have this grading curve right i've had some shitty jobs i've been in some shitty situations so comparatively it's like this is great this is awesome you know but uh there is uh like a crazy obsessive dedication that you have to have uh but i mean you can have that with a hobby Ask the Warhammer 40k guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, four swords, more whores. If you know, you know. Hail the fellowship. Hail self-defense. 
Uh, Matt B for five British pounds. The TR33 Wizard for $2. Pineapple on pizza is a sin, but Team Gary all day. There you go. It's not a sin. God created pineapple. God created pizza. It's nowhere in the in the good book, in any good book, does it say you can't put them together. Nowhere does it say that the pineapple cannot lay with the pizza, okay? Find it for me. If you find it for me, I'll still eat it. I don't care. I'm a sinner. Creased Momo for $2. You should talk about the Axel... A, what the hell is that? Axel Toll Tanks? That must be some... I, I, I don't even know what that is. I'm sorry. Hail to the Fellowship from Jackson Cagle for $5. Hail to you. Tomok uh, for 10 Martian pesos. I just subscribed to Dan Vask and you're gay. <clears throat> well, I mean, of the two of us, I'm the one who's married with children, been married for two decades, previously married before that. And Dan, single guy, you ever see him with a girlfriend? No, you never see him with a girlfriend. But you're allowed to think what you want. I mean, sure, he pointed out that I lived in San Francisco for 18 years. I was born and raised in California. I am married to a woman named Mel that I call Mel. It's Melissa, but I call her Mel, uh, who was a hairdresser. But I'm married. I've got kids. He's terminally single. He's like your terminally single uncle who always shows up to dinner with his roommate <laughs> of 18 years. <laughs> That's Dan. Uh, Simon Ho for two Canadian pesos. I'm surprised Hassan even has a soul to suck. <laughs> he probably sucks his own soul. I, you know what? As many have pointed out before, so where streaming becomes a problem, where streaming becomes a problem is if you're, and, and Eric's pointed this out. I pointed it out in the past. Ryan's pointed this out. Jeremy's pointed this out. As is point, everybody's pointed this out. Like streaming over a long period of time, like reveals character. It just does. Cause you can't put up a front. And how many times have we seen guys who roll boulders, you know, and others, you know, put up a front and they can't do it and it drives them insane and they melt down, which honestly shows they're human, shows they're human. And it must be tough to put up this front that you're some kind of fucking commie in your fucking mansion with your mom getting you your nuggies driving around a fucking Porsche. Porsche is cringe, dude. Porsches, Porsches are fucking cringe driving around a fucking Porsche. And I say that as a middle-aged guy who does long for sports cars. It's like, it's genetically in, like once you hit 45, 50, you're like sports cars are cool. Okay. It's there, but Porsches are fucking yeah. Yeah, muscle car any fucking day. Little limp rid wristed Porsche. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it must be tough for him because that's the guy who did the the bro tips. Like, bros, I'm going to help you, like, hook up with the Bettys, brah, who went commie. And I, I never thought I'd live long enough to see basically a dude bro commie. But here we are. We are in the weirdest timeline. Hopefully things correct. I think they're on the way. I think they're on the way. But I mean that uh, that's all Hassan is known for saying stupid fucking shit. Anytime he pops up, it's something retarded. And if that's how you want to do it, that's how you do it. But again, it's a testament to the free market and capitalism because even retarded commies can make it in capitalism. <laughs> free market, baby. Red red for $5. Love the shirt as best in the world. Well, I've got, uh, my kids got me this shirt. As a shirt, it was probably Yara. Yara. I can't say it. 
Yaira, Yaira, but I'm retarded. Not as retarded as the son, but functionally retarded. Uh, and Beck for five dollars. So, how long till St. Patrick's Day gets swapped for too many redheads? Disney made her forget Spidey. Uh, next one replaces Peter to be that keeps the MJ. Yep. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there will be a time like if 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 society was progressing on the, uh, the woke progression that it was a few years ago. Yes, St. Patty's Day would be just completely canceled. Uh, but you know, things tend to balance out, and you know what? It might not be pretty. It might not be pretty, but I think it's a good thing that we can pretty much regularly say. Well, I have been saying it, retarded, and people are going, "Oh my God, he said retarded." Uh, and Melanie Mack is uh, bringing another word back. And uh, that's great. I think it's great. You know, I think we should be able to say whatever the hell we want. And then we as individuals can choose what to say and what not to say. Not some woke retard that some dumb fucking parents from Marin County or in Silicon Valley sent to Harvard to become more retarded so they can brag that they sent their kid to re, uh, to Harvard for a hundred thousand dollars to have them go through a woman's studies class or become the head of a marketing department of a major firm, and then kills the firm because they're retarded. Shad Hulu's Shogun is phenomenal, says Modalicious for two dollars. I would agree with that sentiment for for two episodes. I, yeah, we got it. It depends on how it ends. But as far as production value, directing, music, God, the music's so good. Um, performance, uh, spirit of the book, what I remember, because I, re I read the book like a long time ago, 30-something um, years ago. Um, uh, best thing on TV since One Piece. How's that? How's that? Uh edgier equals intimacy a coordinator says southeastern kaiju oh for uh, rings of power yeah <sighs> yeah rings of power is coping it's pretty funny uh lady carries for five dollars the miniseries introduced me to dune and i love it uh deserves more respect plus it has alia in it and boobs for the boys boobs uh jerome allen for five dollars gary emu brothers and sisters shad don't sleep with them me texas is not kentucky shad yeah it's weird that shad went right there you know isn't it well i mean like we can't even disrespect kentucky let's just say it's not the middle east okay uh, Jaffo on the bound for four ninety nine. Having a, a modern day maximum overdrive would suck. Having a modern day <laughs> uh, maximum overdrive would suck. Yes, maximum overdrive was fun. I liked it. His pants are backwards because he's a crisscross fan. Says GTI Warrior for four nine. Talking about the fake picture. Yeah, I. I mean, like, I didn't really care if it was fake or not. Uh, I. I assumed it was, but uh, I like the look. And I, and I really like some of the people going, that looks lame. It's like, you, you think a traditional Superman costume looks lame? Colors might be, you know, you might, we can talk about the brightness of the colors, which doesn't bother me at all. I don't think there should be any shame to your game for liking comic book costumes. Considering 99% of the successes are when the comic book character not only acts like the character in the book, looks like the character in the book dread carl urban kept his face covered the whole time but you could tell tallow was carl urban he put in a great performance uh iron man looked like iron man thor looked like thor captain america looked like captain america richard donner superman looked like superman uh batman 89 could have done a little better honestly as far as costume but we were just happy to get batman uh but for the most part, they look like the, the they look and act like the comic book character. Now, you know the only exception to that rule is we have not seen Batman from the comics yet. Just haven't. So many movies, aspects of Batman, but not a complete Batman. 
obviously Shad doesn't like trunks because he wants to be Superman's junk. It's the only explanation, says Neil Lindgren for $9.99. Harsh, but uh, true. Uh, prepare yourselves after Dune 2. Chances are Timothy Chalamet will play Superman in the sequel to Brightburn. Uh, no, he'll probably play Batman. That's my guess. He's, he's going to be Batman now. Uh, Mope service for 20. You know what he would be? He'd be a good, he'd be a good Robin. Timothy Chalamet could be a good Robin. But the only thing I question is his ability to grow up and become a man. Cause I think, I think Timothy Chalamet is just one of those people who's going to be a teenage boy his entire life. The way Hollywood likes him. Oof. Uh, Canada is attempting to pass a totalitarian hate speech bill that has a max penalty of life in prison and can put you under house arrest for crimes you haven't yet committed. Canadians, beware. Uh, Canadians, are you going to stop this? Mope service for $20. For, thank you. Oh, are, are you going to stop? You guys can stop this anytime. You guys are going nuts, man. Too many, too many woke white women in Canada. Uh, Dwayne Oldson for ten dollars. The three hundred million budget from Warner Superman is hiding them shooting two to three movies simultaneously. Says Paul Chato. I would uh, almost agree with that. Remember, Superman one and two were shot back to back for the most part till Donner left. The Zardoz for ten dollars. Uh, Dune two is not as good as Lord of the Rings or original Star Wars movies. When people are dying of thirst, when a muddy puddle will waste like uh, will taste like. Sweet water, great show. It's the Eddie Murphy Ritz Cat Cracker explanation. Like a man starving in the desert eats a Ritz Cracker. It's the greatest thing he's ever tasted. And that would be true. It would be true. Um, but I would say, you know, I asked Mahler, and I, you know, it, like I'm sure there are people who are obsessed with Dune who will watch it over and over again. There's people who love Avatar. Now, I will tell you right now, Dune is thousand orders of magnitude better than avatar orders of man i will watch i've already watched doom part two twice i will watch it probably a third and fourth time i like it i like it will i be watching it for the hundredth time in 20 years like with the two towers no no Oh, no. I asked Mahler, and, and I agree. Like, what would you rather go back and watch? Dune or Serenity? Well, Serenity. Every single time. Every single time. But that's just my taste. Uh, but props to, like, Chris Gore, Danica, who was supposed to be on last Friday, but she had a family thing. Uh, Nerd Cookies. Uh, all the people out there love Dune. Fucking love it. Just love it. Don't. And I love the fact that, like, if I don't think it's 10 out of 10, that bothers some people because that's normal. That's fucking normal. That argument I will have all day long. I am fine with that. Roast me like crazy for that. That's fine. <sighs> Where's X-Ray Girls Superman cosplay? Well, it's not Halloween yet. Unlimited power. Speaking of Superman, yeah, I got to reposition. I I'm almost ready for the room tour. We got two more ships to hang up and I just got to move my Superman behind me switch places with spider-man and then it'll be done we'll do the room tour i thought that's uh, trunks out on the pole meant trunks on the outside so that's how i voted <laughs> this is ian who for 742 here's my penance for the wrong poll answer trucks always it says buddy rabbit for five dollars i didn't see how she worded it yeah she she probably worded it wrong Jesus. Uh, first time super chat. Yaira. And now I just, uh, Yaira announced happy now as says Carlos Rue for $2. He was happy. And it'll be out on the 11th, the 11th of March. Yeah. They kept on saying winters and winter is coming. It's like spring is coming now, guys. <laughs> like the birds are chirping here in Texas. We had our two weeks of winter. It was a little cold, but it's, uh, what's it, pushing 70 today. It's going to hit mid-70s, 80s. Probably a good, good Texas thunderstorm, but we got the, you know, the colored birds coming back, fucking squirrels in my backyard. 
almost getting eaten by my dogs. If my dogs weren't old, they would have caught them. Oh, uh, yeah. Spring is spring is in the air. Dune is prog rock. Rush is prog rock. 2112 movie, please. Yes, Dune is prog rock, by the way. And I love Rush. Uh, B. Kane 315 for $20. I was just listening to him in the gym. I was listening to uh, uh, Spirit of the Radio. And, uh, you know, if you listen to the song Spirit of the Radio, it's it, it's about the 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 changing technology and music it's about the synthesizer coming in right it, it refers to it it's it's got multiple meanings but basically there's a part in the song where it talks about with all, all this uh machinery making modern music can still be open-hearted it's just a question of your honesty yeah your honesty one likes to believe in the freedom of music spirit of radio but is it endless surprises and no it's something and endless compromises shatter the illusion of integrity well the same could be said about ai <laughs> because uh right now a synthesizer can make an entire song you don't need a fucking band you don't need a band But they still use orchestras. They still have bands. They still have lead singers. They still. Glittering prizes. Thank you. God, I, why did I brain fart that? Glittering prizes and endless compromises shatter the illusion of integrity. And I was listening to that song going, wow, that's uh, it's about AI. Love Rush. Zod Lander for 100 Swedish Krona. Uh, best movies ever. Shawshank Redemption. That's a pretty damn good one. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is better than Shawshank, but that's okay. Uh, Godzilla minus one. Batman Begins. The Dark Knight. Doom Part 1 and 2, maybe. But the OG movie with Sting was great. I like the I like the Lynch version. I, like, uh, the, I, I don't mind the TV show. I uh, like the Lynch version. I own it. I'll own Doom Part 1 and 2, and I'll never read the fucking book, ever. I've tried. It's a little too um, dry for me. Uh, 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 uh. After watching Austin Butler's performance in Doom 2, all I could think about was, oh my God, this is what Christian Bale's gore, the God Butcher, was supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, gore the God Butcher would have been like Christian Bale could have played Gore the God Butcher, a little more driven. And he's got it. Both of them could have played it. But yeah, that, that was closer than what Christian Bale played in Thor Love and Blunder. Oh, you're right there. Do you remember Marvel's new universe in the late 80s? I do. Smaller, grittier stories with Star Brand, Justice, DP7. I think these. Uh, could help the franchise being made as small budget films. Alan Richson in Justice would be great. Yes, I think you, you can adapt to any of those and they'd be pretty good uh, in a different world, in a different reality where woke Hollywood didn't exist. Uh, PJ, maybe for five British pounds, say hi to my new granddaughter, born today, trying to get her named Gary. Ah, that's awesome. Hey, unlike Mark Hamill, you acknowledge your granddaughter. So we thank you. Congratulations, by the way. Uh, good Lord, uh, Alien Romulus looks like shit. Uh, is there a trailer? Fruity Gatwa's Harry Taint for $2. I, I, I'm not expecting much. Paul was exposed to the white girl magic. <laughs> Stickle Johnny for $1.99. <laughs> I get what you're saying there. White girl magic. Uh, we we I think we've had enough of the woke white girl magic for sure. Uh, Jackson Cagle for five dollars. Hail Dune popcorn bucket king. Hail FNT. Hail chat tards. You are not chat tards. You're chat geniuses. We're retards. Uh, 
Dob the Great for $10, part one of three, by the way. So uh, just like with the last Jedi time period, Gary, you and your panel continue to be near and dear to my heart. These uh, diverse opinions serve to reassure me that I'm not alone. I literally bought a ticket mid-film when I watched Dune Part 1 to see it again. I was walking up and down the halls excited to see it again after Dune 2. I have no desire to see it again. Considering all of the good press surrounding this movie, I pictured how alienated I would feel if I talked about it with my friends. It's good to know that... that uh, that others didn't enjoy it like me. A lot of people did not enjoy Doom Part 2. Uh, I think Doom Part 1 is better. I think it's uh, I think it's better. Don Mac for $5. I saw Dune 2 in the Belly of the Beast, AMC at Disney Springs. And sorry, but IMAX is a false prophet. Dolby Cinema is the real uh, Kwisatz Haderach. Uh, it depends. Like, yeah, I mean, like Dolby Cinema. If you can go see it, yeah, I'm not gonna say it's shit. I would go see it. I don't think IMAX is a fault profit. You, you, you need to see real IMAX, not FOMAX IMAX, like real IMAX. Uh, is it the best? No, I think 4DX is better. I think 4DX is better. I, I'm, but honestly, I like my home theater. My home theater fucking rocks. My wife made it for me for my birthday, which is incredible. Like find, find a woman who will build you a home theater with Dolby Atmos and a 125 inch screen that takes up the entire wall. <laughs> find yourself a woman like that, a partner like that. Okay. I'll be progressive. A partner like that, a partner. Find yourself a woman. Or, or a dude who will do that for you ladies for the 9.9. Uh, yeah. But like, yeah, I, I'm uh, Dolby. I went to the Dolby Cinema in San Francisco. Talk about Belly of the Beast. That was fucking good. It's good. Neil Horn for $20. I just got back from Dune 2. I was disappointed. I won't go through my list, but uh, I will say Zendaya sucked out like a sore, stuck out, oh, sorry, stuck out like a sore thumb. She didn't fit in as a Fremen. I agree. Uh, by the end, every time I saw her on screen, it pissed me off. Yeah. Um, I would have picked a different. Honestly, Anya Taylor-Joy would have been a better Chani. She's kind of strange looking. She's still hot, but she's like unusual looking which would work better in my opinion i'm gonna hate furiosa if i like it i'll be surprised and it's it's one simple reason they put the name fucking mad max on it and mad max not even gonna be in it from the world of mad max how about making a mad max movie if you want to make money But no, we're going to have uh, Mad Maxine, basically. Uh, Rudiger Smoot for $19.99. Out here, them streets, I hear am saying streaming ain't easy. Y'all keep your streaming hands strong. Got my girl, Gorilla Grip Pussy Pal, at the door. Gotta go. Hail to the fellowship and hail to the 199. <laughs> Daniel Heron for $5 and Daya may have been acting like she had sand in her vagina, but she probably did have sand in her vagina. Uh, to be honest, she was fine. I'd say fine is the best thing you can say. Brian Kedersha, uh, despite Ryan Kinnell out there fucking simping for her and Brie Larson. What's happened to Ryan, by the way? Don't put the pussy on a pedestal, Ryan. Don't put the pussy on a pedestal. For $10. Dune 2. Just kidding, lady. Uh, Dune 2 was a 7. Not a classic, but better than slop Hollywood usually puts out. It was a serious adult movie for a change. Yes, and I really appreciated that it uh, that it didn't tell us everything and it treated us like adults. That's one of the best parts about it. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Zendaya is attractive, says Ryan's Egyptian ancestor for $20. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it, but she is very popular. 
There's a lot of things in this world I don't get. Oh, I do. But, you know. Mm. Mm. But was it a triumph? Asked Modalicious for $2. I would say a visual triumph. Like a, a technical visual triumph, uh, not a triumph of storytelling. No, no, really good, but not a triumph of storytelling. No, uh, God. Okay. Godzilla minus one S tier movie, but that's a movie that comes across once. And I won't say once in a generation. We'll say once a decade, once a decade. And maybe time we'll say once in a generation, we get Godzilla minus one. We get something that's just the perfect package. It's everything. You know, uh, so uh, some dodgy CGI here and there. Y yeah, but I'll, I'll, it almost lent to the movie. I wouldn't say it's dodgy. It was stylistic, and it, but it didn't look real, but it was still stylistically cool. You know, it almost looked like Sky Captain, which I fucking love, by the way. You know, but it's just a total visual feast. The story is nothing, but I still love it. Um, yeah. Godzilla minus one, S tier. Dune 2, really good. Some people could call it great. That's fine, too. No one tell Bree that Ryan is simping for Zendaya. Oh, Southeastern Kaiju just called it out right there. Yeah, you better not tell Bree. Uh, thank you for the $2. Modalicious for five, $5. Spoilers. Oh. Aaron Bushnell did not get cast as Human Torch despite the uncanny method acting. Oh. Hey, I was, that was probably the best Human Torch cosplay we'll ever see. Uh, Deus Ex, uh, crazy people. Crazy people. That's all it is, is crazy people. And yes, yeah, somebody died for current thing. Not the only one, by the way. Deus Ex Macchiato for $5. I wish Dennis would have done a Butlerin, a Butlerin Jihad movie. With that said, I'm going Monday. Okay. What Hollywood is going to learn from Dune? More movies with sand. Dune buggy movies, sand surfer movies, glass making. <laughs> this is Tom and Pickett for five dollars. That is funny. You're absolutely right. What will what will they learn from Dune's success? Uh, lots of sand and a soundtrack that goes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get that all day long. Remember, remember after Gladiator, like everything sounded like the fuck. It, which the Gladiator soundtrack is one of the greatest ever but it led to like oh my god five years of uh, bad impressions of the gladiator soundtrack so yes that's what they'll get out of it gary bringing the imperium to you in vegas for your viewing pleasure you heretic hail fnt hail the god emperor rx firm for 499 people send me for warhammer stuff i don't know what to do with it like am i supposed to paint this or something you do realize I cannot see. <laughs> so you, you, you did hear the story. Maybe you didn't that. I went in for my eye exam and my eye doctor said, you're done. That's it. Can't up your prescription anymore. I'm like, you are fucking kidding me. He's all nope. You have to wait for your glaucoma, glaucoma surgery. And then they could probably improve your eyesight. Well, I'm like, well, how long, how often? How far off is that? And they're all about 10 years. I'm all, so I got to go like 10 years without seeing shit. Okay. That's why I like big screens. Hey, Elephant T, long time lurker, first time super chatter. My brother, who's an author, and his ex Army Ranger friend, who is an illustrator, are working on a comic about a young Captain Ahab hunting mythical sea creatures before he loses his leg. That's cool. I like that. Daniel Callahan for $20. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, Psycho Hobo for $5. It's missing the weird, crazy, psychedelic visions from the book. Yeah, they tried to... I don't think they pulled off the visions very well. I'll say that. It's also missing, like, the guild navigators and some more world building, too, in the second one. That, that I, you know, I thought the world building was excellent in the first one. Quite good. The Exalted Patriarch for four ninety nine. Chani in the Sci-Fi Channel version had huge tracts of land. Uh, John Gibson for five dollars. 
I would think a six hour rated R director's cut of Dune 2 would be a great movie as it is now. I'd say it's a good movie, but not Godzilla minus one good. I agree. Anyone seen Shogun yet? Thoughts? Uh, Placebo for five dollars. I have seen both episodes and I'm going to see them again tonight with my older son and my wife uh, because it's that good. Uh, first time chatter. Speaking of Dune. <laughs> Is anyone a fan of the Armory Wars comics uh, from Ch Coheed and Cambria? Uh, I'm sure Garrett is. Final issue comes out later this year. Garrett? I can't even pronounce this name. In a Jeffy, in a Jeffly manner for $5. I think I got it. Uh, Pirate of Las Vegas for $5. I also didn't like Aaliyah being uh, relegated to nothing more than a talking fetus. She is the one that is supposed to kill the Baron Harkonnen, not Paul. Yeah, I can't do that with a fetus. Uh, disagree on Dune. FNT is breaking up. Uh, disagreement on Dune. FNT is breaking up, says Eric K for $2. I know. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, we'll probably break up someday and it'll probably be at a meetup and somebody will get some to go and come back and Ryan's order will be wrong. And uh, as will be there like midway through telling us every single detail of his day from the moment he woke up and uh, Jeremy will be crying about the binge model. Yeah, I mean, it'll probably be something like that. Odin will say three words, but those three words will manage to piss every single person off. <laughs> and comics will just be in the corner reading 1984. Uh, <laughs> did McMahon shit on Jeremy's face? What is that? <laughs> Are you talking about his beard? <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny, but it's fucking funny. Uh, Sir Sponimus, uh, maybe. <laughs> Magnum Norris for $20. Jeremy eats Kindle bunghole and screams, me, Reiki, Cleocrine. <laughs> While watching Trump slap Tardo out. <laughs> Somebody paid $20 for that super chat. <laughs> Oh, shit. I love our chat. Not everybody gets FNT. And that, that's okay. I don't get FNT. <laughs> I, I don't fucking get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Thomas Smith for $5. I told YouTube to notify me when FNT started and they still no notification. YouTube doesn't like you guys. Uh, it's, it's a love it's a it's a it's a dislike hate situation <laughs> now they're i mean like they recommend us out sometimes and sometimes those recommendations don't go out you know they just don't and you can tell you can tell when they don't and for whatever reason uh usually though i here's my here's what i think if you want to know what i think i i do think youtube puts certain political channels like in in a corner like without a doubt um but as far as the nerd sphere goes i honestly no i just you know i think uh ryan talked about it that uh i think it goes through cycles right and they're always messing with the algorithm and some some months are just better than others so i guess uh so if you're getting into content creating again make it a hobby not a career <laughs> like if it becomes a career cool but make it a hobby um, and be prepared for the peaks and valleys. Like, that's just part of it, you know. It's just part of it. Don't get discouraged, by the way, you know. Uh, what's it? Uh, don't don't take the, the bad comments. Don't take the bad stuff uh, to heart. And don't take all the good stuff. Don't let the good stuff go to your head. Yeah, just be cool. Just try to be uh, as real as possible. And understand that this is the internet. And, uh. Uh, honesty does not reign supreme here. As a matter of fact, you're at a dis disadvantage. Uh, and uh, that's why 
authenticity is so important and it's starting to break through because honesty is not uh is not what rules corporate media is not what rules the news and largely still a lot of here uh honesty is uh something that, that some people just have a fucking hard time with man they just cannot be honest uh and th they'll never figure it out that's that's you want your secret be honest that's the secret it's just some people are in, inherently incapable of doing it it's tough for them uh doom part three made uh through instant cassettes out before the movie is even finished lol says fluggy for ten dollars because chris said dune part three i won't be long gonna watch dune too soon says atomic patriot for two dollars thomas smith uh i read that one i read that one already uh box headed maniac for 20 british pounds hey gang long time lurker first time super chat just want to say how much i enjoy all of your content and FNT. I've been inspired to try again to make my own channel. Good. Uh, tackling pop culture and Hollywood nonsense. So thank you all and good luck. Have fun. Have fun. Thank you for the $20. Josh Kelsey drops $19.99, then walks away because that's what Josh does. Uh, Vagabond Devon for $5. Hail Chris Gore, my N word Ryan, my SD brother Gary, and everyone uh, else. Oh, San Diego. All right. Uh, make sure you come hang out with Chris Gore and I at Dragon Con. Have fun at Dragon Con. I will not be going to Dragon Con. Uh, Curtis Hart for $4.99. Built my Lego Orenthopter as I was re watching the first Dune movie. Can't wait to see part two. As saw Robert Meyer Burnett sharing that out. Uh, sex for ten dollars, and that's at, oh, if it said set, it's snacks, S N E K K S for ten dollars. Hail fellowship, happy men who identify as Women History Month. Women History Month was postponed since the women were still getting ready. Well, Chrissy Mayer put out a great tweet the other day, going like, "What have progressive women actually improved?" Um, and a lot of people have said, uh, unironically or unintentionally, um, YouTube uh, views. Um, I said racism, but I also said they've actually are, they are actually so bad that woke white women are being replaced by men. Uh, pencil frogs will take over the universe in a wibbly wobbly timey wimey floopy way. Fuck the peanut butter flies. Okay. Full metal crazy for five dollars. Um, I don't know what that means, but uh I like peanut butter. Uh, what's a pencil frog? What's a pencil frog? Frogs don't do well in my backyard, by the way. They end up dead in the pool. Uh, Eggy Orphan for $10 says, uh, Gary, just watched your AA story. Thank you for sharing. And I had just hoped I was able to share it uh, to my nephew prior, who I lost to alcohol uh, alcohol addiction. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for what? That's that's old. That's an old one. But uh, I'm glad you watched. I'm sorry about your nephew. And yeah, that's that's it's the toughest part of recovery, man. Especially nowadays, we're losing way too many young people, man. Uh, way too many young people. Sorry about your nephew, brother. Uh, stickle Johnny for four 99. I felt bad for Shawnee at the end of the movie, uh, up until she immediately ran off to ride the first worm she could find. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the exalted patriarch four 99. Speaking of the Roman empire, why did Jeremy have a Fu Manchu stash and Ryan have a Depeche mode haircut? Uh, I don't know what the hell they're drinking over there in Florida, you know, but that's, yeah. Uh, Chris Gilroy for $1.99 British pounds. Gary wishes his shop was that busy. All hail FNT. Oh, what? Uh, my, my comic shop? Oh, when we showed the cartoon, it actually, uh, at times, there was nobody in it. <laughs> and at times, it was insane. Peaks and valleys, man. Peaks and valleys. Uh, my shop was pretty busy, though. It was. It was. I, I, I'm the one who did my shop in. My shop was, if, if uh, I hadn't relapsed, it would have, I'd still be running it. 
well, no, but uh, God, it would be hard to fucking imagine. I would, if I was still running it, I would have gotten rid of new comics like a long time ago. I was flirting with that idea even then. I was like, do I need new comics? Do I need to give Diamond, what was my bill average? It's like 3,500 bucks a month, uh, a week. Sorry, a week I was giving them. See, Diamond, through Diamond, I mean, the, the deal on new comic books was good. You get, de depending, but mostly with DC and Marvel, you got 54% off cover price. Uh, it was different for uh, for Image and Dark Horse and others, like 40-something percent, if I remember correctly. But you basically, you know, you make half, which is great. Except you're stuck with it. No returns, unless it's damaged. Uh, no returns, you're stuck with it. Quite frankly, the back issue sales and the toy sales were going up so much, it was like, do I need to do this? Uh, I... I trades were never i had trades but they were never huge sellers because i frankly that didn't like them plus i had a bookstore down the street plus every other fucking comic store in san francisco was just a trade store i'm like i'll be the comic store i'll be the one that actually sells the comics and it worked out for me we had trades though we had a pretty decent amount but it's not anything i i stopped buying them new i stopped buying trades new completely the last three years of my shop and i just because there's the school there was san francisco state near me so i'm like just sell me your trades I just put a sign up, said, sell me your trades. So my trades were stocked completely by people bringing them in and me buying them on pennies on the dollar. And I didn't have to buy them from the publishers at all for three years. Worked out great. Uh, Gary, you really need to try to listen, listening to the Dune full cast audio book. It was a great listen. Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I got a long drive coming up. Maybe. Hatchet. Thank you for the $10. Ultra. For two dollars, what's uh, Gary? What's the 2024 L, uh, Las Vegas meetup info and link? Uh, that time has come and gone. Ultra, sorry. Uh, we put the link up uh, in the community section like a week ago, two weeks ago, and uh, both events, un regrettably, because um, only a couple hundred people are allowed in the bar per night. We added a night. We added a night and. Uh, you can't repeat nights. You have to pick a day. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's long. We have a, a bit of a waiting list going on right now. Um, and people always cancel. That's fine. People always cancel. But uh, if you want to email Melissa and X-Ray Girl and try to get on it, we'll let you know. By the way, um, the fellowship, like fan, like fans, you know, fellow members of the audience, uh, you have priority over everybody else, everybody else. Uh, that that's content creators, by the way, um, or any possible guests, because the only, we only have a certain number of people that can fit in that building and they will not go over it. And that's part of the reason we get it for free. So fire code. We don't want to get, uh, my boy, Alex in trouble. He's a good dude. Millennium Fan Bar, go check it out. If you're in Vegas, go check it out. Okay. Uh, that was supposed to say, fellow leap year birthday brethren. I am not a smart man, but I know what love is, Gary. Okay, Mark. For $5, okay. Uh, Kieran die. Kieran Vit. Wait. Kieran Vind. For $20. Shout out to the mods. Reading chat is like trying to write a sign while riding on a bullet train. <laughs> read a sign. See, there you go. Ride a sign. Oh, you put ride, but he meant read. It's trying to read a sign while riding a bullet train. The hot grapes for studios for $20. Well, we had it on slow mode, right? Is it still fast? Maybe we should slow it up a little bit more. I don't know. I have a fantastic employment opportunity that showed up. But the downside is that it will be much less time to spend with my wife and newborn son, as well as kissing my dream of publishing my own comic goodbye. Any advice? Uh, I wouldn't kiss it goodbye. Why would you kiss it? Is life over? Is this is this employment opportunity going to end your dreams forever? Do you not have extra time? Are you going to be working 24 hours a day? No, no, Hot Grape Studios. I'd say turn that frown 
upside down into a smile. You don't have this. Uh, you, you have a great opportunity that will allow you to fund your hobbies, which could become another great opportunity. So I would say flip that attitude around a little bit. And, you know, it does kind of suck uh, missing the wife and kid growing up. We all had to go through that. But kids got to eat. Kids got to eat. And if the wife is around, at least there's a parent there. Andrew McCarty for $9.99. Can you explain the end of the Donner Cut? Basically, Superman blows up the fortress of... Uh, turns the world back, resetting and making everything irrelevant, and Zod is back in the Phantom Zone. I don't understand. No, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I haven't seen the Phantom. I, I got to see the Donner Cut. I haven't seen it in like 10 years. I saw the panel, Andrew, for the Donner Cut. That was fucking awesome at Comic-Con. That was awesome. Ronan the Crusader for $15 in regards of without uh, FNT is all finished up, by the way. Uh, in regards of Ultimate Spider Man, and Demi on TV recently made a video uh, talking about the despite Rings of Power's failure, Amazon relies, uh, success relies on Reacher and Terminal List to keep funding Rings of Power. Just some food for thought. Well, every show funds each other's show on a streaming service. So technically that's true, but it's also all the other. But what funds the rings of power is uh, the all of Amazon, not just fucking Amazon Prime. It's all of Amazon, all of it, all of it. But the thing is, they're still keeping books on that series and they're going to see like how much is that series bringing in? They did a press release that was desperation, in my opinion, announcing a third season before we've heard word on the second season. So announcing a third season before they announced the release date of a second season. What does that sound like? Kathleen Kennedy announcing a Rianne Johnson trilogy right around The Last Jedi. It's marketing. Will it happen? 50-50 uh, at best. I think they're going to get a third season. I do. I don't think they're getting five. I think they'll manipulate that. Uh, Beaver Gladiator for $5. Let's be honest. The only reason the Fantastic Four is set in the 60s so they can pander about the civil rights movement and call the audience racist. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't put it past them. That's why they uh, Blade is supposedly a period piece that takes place in the 30s. Same fucking thing. Kick the ladder for $5. The label... To label any subject suitable for comedy is to admit defeat, says Peter Sell Sellers. Ooh, that's good. Comic book script, you baguette, says Ellie Elvis for $4.99. Snoopy Diz for $5. What's up, Gary Asmaller and X-Ray Girl? How are, uh, how are you? I'm having a shitty day at work, but listening to you makes the work day a lot better. Cheers. Thank you. Sorry you're having a shitty day. It's over now. Uh, now all the doctors have bi-generated. What are the odds that they will seek out earlier version for a bit of self-flagellation? If you know what I mean. Uh, chances are very high, Henrik. Thank you for the 100 Danish krona. Zod Lander for 100 Swedish krona. That was Danish krona. This is Swedish krona. Kneel before Zod. Zod. Wait. So, kneel before Zod Lander. Not Homelander or General Zod. I love your takes on films, series and, series and games. Keep the truth coming. Hail Critical Drinker, Shad, Film Threat, and EFAP. Love you all. Love you too. Love you too. Uh, they attacked a woman carrying a child. They took uh, offense. They took offense at that as you should introduce the flakes to a fine cuisine of Britain. The spotted dick. They will lose it. Get well, Chrissy. She's good. Ellie Elvis for $4.99. Sci-fi. Ancient civilizations. Old gods. That's mostly what I talk about. Uh, first half of Wally -E is pure genius. G.I. Joe silent interlude. Uh, one of the best comics ever. Yes. I agree. Rem Dog. The Quest for Fire was a movie with no dialogue. It's also a French movie. Perfect casting for Ron Perlman as a caveman. There you go. Yeah, there was a lot of, lot of fucking in that, though. 
uh, hostile bogey in bound for five dollars. Frankly, I'm sick of make uh, remaking Dune if Dennis is not going to make a swing at Doom, take a swing at Doom Messiah. It's not good to encourage this behavior. We deserve better. I think they're going to make Doom Messiah. I think they will with children of Doom, maybe. Thou shalt not pass the King James version of Lord of the Rings. It says Nine Breaker for four ninety nine. Gus Gus for a dollar ninety nine. X Ray Girl poop as well prior to scale hell one nine nine. What? Did I just read Mad Dog 375 for two dollars? It's all in the reflexes. It's all in the reflexes, Jack Burton. Frankly, Dennis, I don't give a damn, says DLA Graphical for $4.99. Uh, Zod Lander for 100 Swedish Krona. Get away from her, you bitch. Ellen Ripley, aliens, best line towards a Disney queen ever. Yes. And we were talking about um, this all stems from Denis Villeneuve uh, saying that. You know, he wants to do a movie without dialogue. He thinks it's overused. I think there was something lost in the translation. I think ultimately it's a dumb statement because dialogue is film. Dialogue is film. And some of the most memorable images have dialogue that go with them. Picard's screen matched uh, light bridge chair 1987-1994 is up for auction on uh, Prop Store, FYI. Really? Well, she's probably going for a gazillion dollars. Uh, Dragon Thunder for $5. I don't even need to know where to put it, to be honest with you. Thank you for the $5. Alfie Frost for five British pounds. Been watching you guys a lot. I'm in a bad place since my brother passed away. I'm sorry about that. And you guys are always there when I felt alone. I've been there. It's good to have voices to listen to when you're feeling all alone. It definitely is. Uh, you'll be all right. Sorry about your brother. Lower lip slicker for $5. <laughs> That's a bad follow-up. Have you guys seen the new video of Batman Superman versus Darth Vader? It looks really good. I have not. I will look at it. Kick the ladder for $2 or it's the moon. Maybe, maybe kick the ladder for two more dollars. I took uh, a video of UFO yesterday. Cool. Share it. Send it to me. Single guy cooking for $10. Gary, you should include drinker. To the bet against Dan Vask between you and Dan getting one million drinker and two million, he needs sixty thousand uh, versus your seventeen k. Oh, drinker will probably beat me to two million. Drinker will probably beat me to two million for sure. Uh, what Dan and I are going to do when the bet's over? When the bet is over, is find somebody else. I don't know if it like it's a race to a million, maybe a race to half a million or something. But we're gonna we're gonna do a rocky. We're gonna find somebody to train. Find somebody to train. Okay, here we go. Question for As. I'll try to answer it as best as possible. What do you think of Tifa's uh, beach scene in? uh ff7 rebirth uh 38 seconds that's what he thinks but also tifa's new censorship and remake uh integrate negative 38 seconds i think that's a pretty accurate answer don't you uh gunner for 25 norwegian krona the uh the fof thing is some spy trade craft shiz okay women not being able to read maps moments Oh, <laughs> talking about directions, not those kind of maps, the kind that should be nailed against the wall. Uh, Zod Lander for 50 Swedish Krona. Mystery is the key. It's like the last Airbender Netflix show. They ruin the mystery. They reveal uh, the reveal of Aang's backstory dropped in the first episode and changed. Yeah, and nobody's talking about it. Avatar The Last Airbender has fallen down the memory hole completely. They're trying to compare that shit to fucking One Piece. One Piece was just getting started. Like the One Piece, like, hit a crescendo like a month after it came out i love you all especially mahler says electro metro for a 9.99 thank you mahler please bless us with a gen v efap uh he'd hate it like i did i could get through it it was just modernity shit uh kick the ladder for five dollars has a heart thank you i explain why spice is needed and the history of it in my dune channel says arrakis central for 4.99 cheers 
Wish uh, they did that a little more in the movie, but I got the I got the gist. Uh, writing from Singapore, also as looking more like he is built like Batman, but instead of fighting crime, he fights the urge to eat. There you go, Lee Sang for six dollars, uh, uh, six uh, Singapore pesos. The sarcastic mailman for five dollars. Hail to you all! Glad I found you guys three years ago. Your videos helped me pull out of my fifteen year addiction. Holy shit, to opiates! Holy shit, that is not easy. Five months sober today at 33. Congrats. Kicking opiates is fucking brutal. That's why people stay on them for so long, because the kick is brutal. Brutal. Hale, it's been 1,433 days since Pew Card Season 1 ended and still no review, Gary. Just saying, you know, I earned that, Scottish nerd. I, I fucking earned it. I earned it. I earned that one. Uh, there's 20 minutes of it on a drive that now has a bad power supply. So I have to, I think it's on my, it might be on my Mac. I have to double check. Uh, but there is 20 minutes of that review that's uh, that's done, which would be funny if I ended it <laughs> like three years later, four years later. Yep, you got me on that one. Got me on that one. Uh, Fluggy for $5. How is uh, the new Shogun show? It's really good. I've been hoping it's good, but kind of reluctant to watch. I That should be, that is the proper attitude towards Hollywood right now. End of story. They have earned that. And I think it's going to hurt Shogun. I think it is. Farir Samra for $10. Started collecting comics because of y'all. I have started my collection with Keanu Reeves' uh, Berserker. Uh, that being said, if they come bagged and boarded, is there a reason to rebag and board them? Not right away, but they, if they come bag and boarded, they're in the polyurethane bags and the cheaper boards, which uh, fall prey to you know degradation. And uh, what happens is when the book starts degrading. The gases from the inks uh, get trapped in the in the polyurethane bag. It takes a long time, though. It takes a long time. Uh, the way to avoid that is to use acid-free boards because the acid eat, uh, in the boards eats it away from the polyurethane. And uh, mylite. But everything degrades. But it will extend the life of your comic book. But there's a point where your comic, especially the older ones made out of pulp, you would have to like see it, vacuum seal it for it to, because it eventually would just go to dust. So hat for $5. You guys should look uh, into open uncensored LLMs like Wizards AI, et cetera. There's more unregulated LLMs than Corpo and they're all advancing at the same rate. Dragon Master Outcast for $16.99 New Zealand. Time to start a nerd fight. Which is the best? Crisis on Infinite Earths, Infinite Crisis, or Final Crisis? Uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, I still like the first one. Yep. Infinite Crisis is really good. Final Crisis, nah, don't like it. I think that's a good order. I can't wait for Gary and Az's AI nudes. Yeah, no, no, no. I think you can wait. Uh, dumb blonde with big tits for $2. Uh, all fav all Favre for $10. The whole AI thing reminds me of Superman Red Sun. When do you, uh, what do you do when one of the potentially power things in the, ex the most uh, potentially most powerful things in existence is under the control of your, of immoral people? Hail to the fellowship. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's what we're we're living in. <laughs> so that we don't need to what if that. We could just observe. Uh Matthew Kelly for five dollars. As in G, what are the best Dick Grayson stories? And are there any good comic runs where he takes up the cow, in your opinion, as favorite Robin? God bless. He does take up the cow in what uh Grant Morrison's run, right? So that was pretty good. Uh, Chuck Dixon. 
Chuck Dixon stuff. Very good. Very good Nightwing stuff. A Tenero for $4.99. I bought all three compendiums of Invincible and read them in one month. Amazing storytelling and wonderful violence. Lots of violence. Uh, Def 81 for five British pounds. It's like the comics code is being brought back, isn't it? Yes. Yes. I said that a while ago. But yes. Imagine they got the ultimate Fantastic Four route and made Reed Richards into a maker. They might. Uh, Hail BBC Juggernaut is one of my favorites. In the last month, was able to get X-Men 12 and Amazing Spider-Man 229. Fucking all-timer right there. Uh, that Amazing Spider-Man cover is fantastic. It is. Nothing could stop the Juggernaut. It's fucking, oh, so good. From the Preacher, yes. Uh, Fing Book for $2. Sweeney should take Bree's spot. I agree. Zodlander for 50 Swedish Krona. Bree is like... Brie cheese. It smells bad and tastes really good. But once you take a good look, it's the worst thing ever. Uh, the quarter black Templars from low, uh, from IO for five British pounds. Uh, passing technologies for five Chilean pesos, six million people or six million dollars. I can't decide. Uh, also, Ricola or Swiss. Let us have stuff. It's always either Swaziland or Sweden. Okay. Hail guys and Exude Ghoul. Who are your top five strongest female leads, not including Ripley and Sarah Connor? Oh, I'd have to think about that. Like Buffy would be one. Uh, Jaden Ben for a dollar ninety nine best online comic store. Ooh, I don't know. And best bags are my lights. I just get them off eBay. Best online comic store. I'd still go with Southern California comics. I have to quit the internet until Saturday to avoid Dune 2 spoilers. So here is some money and uh, some love for you all. Phantom Menace is my favorite prequel. Okay, Pie Guy, have fun. Ministry of Wrong Thing for $4.99. Okay, Gemini, show me a group of people uh, doing barely safe work for BDSM in the cotton field. For Chrissy Mayer from with uh, five, five bucks. Yeah, I'll get that to Chrissy. Ministry of Wrong Thing, hail. Dune was post AI future. It was Fing book. It was X ray girl is looking good, more 3D than recently. Okay, you have simp. Uh, that was from Andrew Matthews, TJM for a dollar 99. Gary, favorite Green Lantern. Oh, Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner is my favorite. Uh, who is the Green Lantern? Hal Jordan. Kyle Rayner wasn't bad. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people were upset when he was gone. A lot of people were upset when they got rid of Wally West. A lot of people were upset. And people are still upset, like my son. My son my son despises Barry Allen. <laughs> He's like, Wally West, the best Flash. God bless him. Uh, but Guy Gardner. Yeah, that's my favorite Green Lantern. <clears throat> from the Justice League book in the 80s, which is fucking awesome. Gary, hundreds of buttons. Is Gary a Linux, oh, a Linkso variant? Maybe. I don't know what that is, but maybe I am. Thoughts on Skybound Transformers comics? I have no thoughts, as likes it. I might have some thoughts. I might check it out. Uh, Tomok for $20. So how are you guys defending... Uh, our managed democracy. Are you fighting bugs or a Terminator? Uh, we we caught that one. Um, I think we're eating bugs and fighting Terminators. I don't know. Uh, how how are we fighting? Every day. Dearest for a dollar ninety nine. Cheers, Rongi for five dollars. Glad to see you guys in for your shift in the stream minds. I know, right? It's so hard. Oh my god, I can barely hold on. I've been going for like an hour and a half now. I'm so emotionally drained. I need to charge my social battery. And I'm really, hang on. Okay, I'm good. I hear it's one of the hardest jobs out there. You don't even know. You don't even know. Fighting fires for a dollar a day for the county of San Diego in jail while I was an inmate. Fucking easy compared to this. The real JBC for $5. Here's $5 I earned at uh, Malavon's Creek for democracy, boys. For democracy! If Plank quits the MCU, then the Don 
intense uh, is finally safe. <laughs> Piston, you're right. You're right. You are right. All right, that wraps up the real. We got the real BBC and the F FNT wrap wrapped up. Let's see what new stuff we got. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Oh my God, my social battery. My social battery. It's the fucking gayest shit I've ever heard. Like Asmund go like I've you. I generally don't have a problem with it. Uh, his take on uh, Melanie Mac was was gay. Um. But that's fine. Like, you know, she she handled it very well. I think Melanie can handle herself. She handled it very well. Um, that sounded bad, but you know what I meant. Um, uh, but him backing up his son's like, bro. Bro. Horrible take. Horrible take. Uh, Rook takes rock. Thank you for the nine ninety nine. Appreciate you. Mad Dog 375. Thank you for the dollar, brother. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Mystic Neon says Superman's greatest weakness is kryptonite. Uh, isn't kryptonite, it's Lois Lane. Well, I mean, technically, it's his love for humanity. And yes, and, and having a girlfriend. But that's what makes him human. Like every superhero should have a mantra. I mean, like we we see this through multiple. We see this in Buffy. The Slayer must be alone. The Slayer must be alone. There should there should, there, there should take no wives and the same we see with the Jedi and everything because like your mission is your focus. But them having relationships makes them relatable. That's the relatable part of Superman. This is where most fucking hack writers just forget forget plus it's a traditional hetero normative heterosexual relationship we just can't have those in hollywood uh i have seen shogun tomorrow land for five dollars it is very good i uh uh i mean there's eight episodes to go and they can completely fall apart but um if you got two hours to kill watch those two episodes they're really good Production value on it's top notch. And I particularly like the soundtrack. Thought it was really good. Uh, will you be reviewing X-Men 97 show? Yes, Eddie Brock 9043 uh, for 249. Absolutely. 100% will be reviewing it. Absolutely. Will I be watching it on Disney Plus? Well, yeah, but it's somebody else's. Um, Gary, did you know corn is technically a fruit? No, really? That was a vegetable. Either way, I like it. Either way, I like it. Hi, Gary. Thanks for keeping me sane through all the crazy. Terrace house guy. Thank you for keeping me sane, guys and gals. Thank you. It's reciprocal. That's a big word I know. Andre C28 for $49.99. Hey, Gary. Reading cinemas in uh, Roanhurt Park, California, closed last year. I'll miss my childhood place. Yeah, I don't think my place is around anymore either. Uh, Wegan Plaza 6 AMC in Encinitas. And uh, I, I, now the other theater, I think, is still around. The Plaza Camino Real Mall in Oceanside. Uh, and the Man Theater in Oceanside where I watched Star Wars, Star Trek, Raiders. I think those are still around, but all the other stuff I watched in the mid-80s from like 83 up, and that's an I think that one's gone. I think it's gone. Very sad. Yep. And I, at that theater, every fucking weekend, there was a arcade in the same shopping center called Pinball Plus. Have you seen Flash Glitz's Space King pilot? Uh, no. I've heard about it, though. Rubber band jiggle uh, jiggle physics for $2, but I have not seen it. Uh, do you own single issues of the entire alien costume saga run uh, across Amazing Spider-Man, Marvel Team-Up, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, recently collected in two paperbacks. Eddie Brock, 90430. Yes, I own. 
I don't like to say publicly what I own, but I own all the single issues. Yes. Yes. I have pretty vast, complete runs of major characters, including Spider-Man. Yes. That's why I've, I've been mainly just buying DC back issues, like from the Silver Age, because that's like, I never read them. I just never read them. So, and they're cheap. So that's basically what I'm buying. And I'm also buying doubles for my son. Like uh, recently, I'm, I'm looking at a at a full uh, Claire, uh, Claremont, Cockrum, Burn, Run, basically the Phoenix Saga, you know, uh, Uncanny 94 Up. Seriously looking at a collection for uh, for my son. That's the excuse anyway. I mean, I already have it, but they're in storage. That's why I didn't roast Rachel Leishberg, whatever the fuck her name is from, because uh, I have to go to storage to take pictures of my X-Men boxes, which I will do. And then I will ask her to show us your X-Men. Maybe I'll save it for the video. Uh, but yes, I have... Uh, they are recently collected in two trade paperbacks. If you should just read them, absolutely read those. But as a comic collector, I am a purist, and I believe they should be read in their original form, although not everybody can afford that. So, Although the I, that's not terrible. Uh, the first appearance of the costume will be costly, and the first appearance of Amazing Spider-Man will be costly. But outside of that, you know, into, over time, you can, you can, uh, you can do it. Plus, it's fun. And I'm with Jeremy. Like, uh, you know, you can get entire runs online. I like going to cons and like little cons and garage sales and just piecing together my collections. That's way more fun. A surprising amount of traits you guys use to insult our foes happen to apply to me, but I'm not offended. I get the jokes. I know I'm not your target. Please stay politically incorrect. Rock on. Says Darth Gorbag for eleven eleven. Uh, I mean, like it's okay if you're gay, Darth Gorbag. <laughs> you might be. I don't care. Cause we're fucking joking. Okay. <laughs> of course you're welcome here. I don't get. I can call it horrible shit all day long, and like unironically, <laughs> there's people who give me who roast me, which is uh, which I totally love. And then there's the horrible shit. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. You know, this is why free speech and free expression are such a good thing. People need to be allowed to be themselves or to be as disingenuous and full of shit as possible. You want to know why? Because of time. Time. The one thing we cannot get back the one thing we have so little of and when people are pieces of shit we know who not to waste our time on my spring goal to watch my entire zatoch is a tochi criterion collection is it talk is it zatoki or zatochi sorry uh the box is work of art everyone take a break stay at home during this rough time there you go mad dog 375 that's awesome. Criterion is awesome. Uh, you know what's getting a 4K version? Not in time for my Vegas meetup. Because I was like, I went to HBO Max to watch Ocean's Eleven to, for my prep. And it's like, it says coming soon. I'm like, why, why the fuck is it coming soon? What's, what's the problem here? Oh, shit. They must be remastering it. They are. They are. They're turning it into a 4K version. There's a steel box that's coming out, I think, uh, April 30th. Pre-ordered that shit. Because I love that movie. I actually love Oceans 11 and 13. Don't like 12 at all. That Oceans belongs in Vegas. And I fucking love the original. The original is... The original and the remake are... It's, it's the rare case where they're both really fucking great movies. Both great movies. But uh, yeah, physical media, baby. That's where it's at. We're rewatching Firefly and the and the transfer is fucking dog shit. It's just it's like it's such it's unbelievable that there's no remastered version of Buffy Angel and Firefly. It's, it, it, it's fucking unbelievable. Oh, my spring goal was to uh oh, okay, I read that one. There you go. 
Uh, say a prayer for all my occupants of sports cars currently stuck in Donner Pass right now. <laughs> this is Happy Plague Doctor for five dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, um, it's it's blizzard conditions up in California. Uh, California is going through an El Nino year, so for all the people going, my climate and oh my God, it's raining. It's California it does it every seven fucking years. Every seven years, the beach gets eroded. There's massive fucking waves. It rains like fucking crazy in San, uh, in Southern California and in San Francisco. God flushing the toilet, and it and then it then it goes right back in the drought. And because G Gavin Newsom is such a dumb fucking idiot, he ha he's had plenty of time to build the inf water infrastructure for California. There's no reason California should ever have a drought ever, ever. Because they get rained on like fucking mad every seven years, right? Uh, and there's also other ways to get water that they have refused, including a water line directly from Alaska. So don't get me started. Yeah. It happens every seven years. It gets crazy. I remember one year during an El Nino, I'm sitting at my junior high, Oak Crest Junior High. We have a view of the ocean. And I'm watching water spouts go by, which are water tornadoes. That shit never happens in California, except during El Nino years. It's every seven years, give or take. Good luck out there. Good luck. Because the most dangerous thing is not the weather. It's the dumb fucking Californians who forget how to drive once one drop of water hits the ground. And I say that as a dumb fucking California. Californians ruin, ruin everything. They ruin everything. Gary, what are your thoughts on history? Uh, YouTubers like alternative history, oversimplified extra history and armchair historian. Uh, do you enjoy their stuff? Like they have, uh, have you ever thought of bringing them on FNT? I do enjoy their stuff. I think it would be better suited for Forbidden Frontier, but uh, armchair historian, yes, I have, I have watched all their stuff. I agree with some of it. I disagree with other stuff. I don't think history... Uh, I think it's 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 an evolving thing, history. I don't think it's written. I think what we have records of, we could somewhat believe. But uh, yeah, Matt Faxine for 20 Canadian pesos. Thank you, brother. Yeah, they're good channels. Good channels. Uh, not history, but uh, mystery. Y-Files released a great video last night, by the way. Cryptids part one. Gary. Uh, who you got for amazing Spider-Man artists from the nineties, Bagley McFarlane. In my opinion, Larson is underrated. I think Larson started out. Okay. <sighs> mm, got into my head. I, McFarlane. I thought it was revolutionary what he did. Um, Bagley is is a lunch pail guy. I thought honestly his better work was in uh Ultimate Spider-Man in the 2000s. I think Larson's very underrated. Um but I here's a controversial opinion. I think Bagley and Larson's version of Venom is better than McFarlane's. Does that make any sense? So you know the Venom cover from his first mini series Here, let's let's show it. Uh, it had some variants. There was like a red foil variant. There was a black variant. Uh, oh, come on. I can't type today. Like, that's the best version of Venom. Hang on. Da, 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 da. Lethal Protector. There we go. It's going to be kind of fuzzy. Sorry. But you'll get the idea. This is, like, I think the best version of Venom. Right there. Very sleek. I think uh, McFarlane's was a little too bulky, and uh, they they have uh, 
different action figure versions, but this is more the version that they put in the animated series. There you go. That's my favorite version. Um, and that's Bagley. That's Bagley's version. Uh, but I will say, like, favorite of McFarlane. I really love McFarlane's Hulk, too. Fucking love it. Love it, love it, love it, art-wise. Love it. So, yeah, I'm going to say McFarlane. I know it's like a basic binge answer, but it's honest. Uh, I love what McFarlane did. It was mind-blowing. It was cool. Uh, a lot of people tried to, you know, emulate it. Not very well. Uh, but, but but if you want to ask, like, what's my favorite Spider-Man artist? Uh, Romita. Romita. I think Romita. I, th I love Ditko stuff, but you want to ask me what my favorite is? Romita. And it wasn't bad when Romita Jr. was basically, uh, well, his name was on it, but it was Bob Layton for the most part. That was a good fucking run, too. Not bad. Not bad. Not not the later Romita Jr. stuff where it turns into sketchy blocks. Uh, but ba well, I love Bagley, though. I think he's a good lunch pile. Like, everybody looks kind of young, you know, but it worked for Ultimate Spider-Man pretty well. Pretty well. I think Larson, in the beginning, was indeed underrated, but his, his art style got loose and shitty. And I've fucking always hated Savage Dragon. I never liked Savage Dragon. Never liked it. Where am I? I am completely lost. Here we go. Uh, the Shogun book is very compressed. Unsatisfying ending, in my opinion. Love it, though. One of my top ten. Yeah, it, well, the ending is a fucking... Isn't it a monologue? Isn't it like an epilogue or a monologue or something? Yeah, I, I'm... Again, 30 years ago. But yeah, the ending is like fucking... What? <laughs> It's basically, um, uh, what's his name? Tanago or whatever his name is. I'm saying it wrong. Uh, kind of recalling what happens later, I believe. Something to that effect. Again, it's been 30 years. Give me a break. Uh, Rook takes Rook for $4.99. It's not Tanaga, but <laughs> you know what I mean? It's Star Trek. <laughs> it's, you know, it's something with a T, okay? Uh, everyone voted trunks out in the poll, uh, including me, thought it meant on the outside. Yeah, X-Ray Girl, we need to instruct X-Ray Girl on how to word things. But what she meant, it, she meant it like dicks out, okay? <laughs> That's what she meant it. <laughs> Fucking X-Ray Girl, she's great though. You know what X-Ray Girl does? That's that's great. Besides being unflappable. She does her homework, right? And I don't have to tell her. Like, you know, people are like, hey, you should watch that. Boom. She watches it. You should read that. She reads it. She's come a long way. And that's how you're supposed to enter fandom with curiosity, not wanting to fucking change everything because you think it's wrong, even though you know fucking shit about it. Hence the title of this live stream. Fake Geek Girl Interrupted. But in truth, their time has come to a long overdue end. Fucking see ya. Not as cool as TV, record player, eight track, uh, wet back combo. Hope you're safe from the fires down there. Oh, I am. I'm a long ways away. The Solar Federation has assumed control. Uh, Decky 69, I'm hundreds of miles away from those. Uh, Texas is uh, Texas is big. So for those of you who do not live in the United States, uh, you could fit uh, the proper UK island inside of Texas easily. It's almost, uh, almost 900 miles across. It's big. I made a do lore channel. I have a video. On the first Atreides, Nerd Cookies is awesome too. So there's Arrakis Central 499. Yeah, I, I like lore videos. I think they're nice. I, I like my Lord of the Rings lore videos. They, they relax me, man. 
they do. Not that I need, not that I'm stressed out. Well, yes, every day I'm stressed out from going to the streaming mines, guys. Uh-oh, social battery is down. Hang on. Okay, thank God I'm okay. Hey, Gary, doing nerd shit, making a 40K army, adding if you uh, adding you if you don't mind. Librarian, uh, Gary Thor, the the Warpotic, the the Warprotic. Anyone else got better names? At me. Yeah, I don't know about those. Hey, do what do what you like. Just treat me with respect, okay? <laughs> PSA: Stay away from One Piece anime. Its overall quality is on par with the Rings of Power as far as ruining source material. Save yourself. Anyone recommends it has Stockholm Syndrome. Read the manga. You know, Tiger King for $10. Perry told me that too. Perry's like, just wait for the Streamline one that's being redone by Netflix. It'll probably be better, but maybe I'll just read the books. Yeah, I'll just read the books. Uh, Paul, 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 a trade knees is truly a Quidditch hacky sack says the omega man and the high keep on the borderlands for dollar 99 you are oh man that is all over the place but thank you howdy gary hello I'll just oh, howdy gay ray just kidding no you're not uh today is my birthday 36 will you push the twinkly button hell happy birthday metalhead madman for 20 dollars. thank god for not thank you for not asking me to sing i giggled when zendaya cried at the end tomorrow lad i just kind of cringed uh, thank you for the super chat. Don Woods for five dollars. Greeting, greetings, and hail all to you, incredible nerds. Anna Taylor Joy is so much more talented as an actress, but she's not the right skin color. Yeah, I isn't she? Isn't she like Argentinian? Oh, yeah, but she's white, but she's got an, an ethereal, unique look. Uh, a couple of bucks towards uh, the Gary goes to Serpent Mound Fund. Oh, hell yeah. Alpha Kenny. I, I think we'll go to Serpent, Serpent Mound on our way uh, when I head up to Wisconsin. I'll, I mean, that's not like super close, but it's closer than being in Texas. So uh, I think I'll go check it out for sure. Zendaya is just a brown brie. No hate on RK for dry bitches. Hey, LFNT. Hail Gary. Love you, brother. Uh, she's from Oakland, so I doubt she's uh, anything other than completely progressive and weird. Warhammer 40K is actually really easy to understand. <laughs> okay, just watch Bricky's two-part video series explaining all the factions, and you're all set. 40K lore is mostly irrelevant to your enjoyment of the IP. It says Goop for $10. Oh, that's good to know. I'll check it out. Well, we got Arch out there, too. So, uh, Gary, Roadcaster Generation 1, 2, or Duo, which is best? I beg for one ninety nine. You know, I had a conversation with Matt Kadish about this, and um, while I've gotten used to the Roadcast Roadcaster Generation Two, I've gotten used to it. It's got a couple more bells and whistles. Quite frankly, the first one's better. So if you get it cheaper, it's you know it's it's better. For one, the connection to the power supply, very important. So basically the connection to the power supply looks like a USB connection, like a, like a USB three connection. It's fucking flimsy, easy to break. It's terrible fucking design. Um, also, you don't really, uh, on the first one, you can upload, there's an like basically an app on your desktop that you can also upload stuff to. Can't do that with this one. This one automatically updates. It's got a lot of good ideas, but right now it thinks it's a uh, 3.25 p.m. On November 30th. So it doesn't update right all the time. Yes. Currently it says it's 325 PM on the 30th of November, 2023. So it's not exactly perfect. I would go with one. I would go with one. It's sad that FNT is considered uh, political. Did you manage to uh, take a look at your boy Zach's timeline on the fall of comics? Also, we'd love to sh uh, love a show on just on comics and what's happened to the industry. Uh, Mike, for $10, I will promise that. I will promise that. I have taken a look at it, and I'm going to email your boy, Zach. Um, I know he doesn't like the live streams, and I'm not even going to invite him. 
but um, I would like his his feedback on something, and then we will most definitely do a real BBC that kind of takes you over the history, like a brief history. But definitely uh, subscribe to your boy, Zach. He's been chronicling it better than anybody since 2017. And and it really, it's it's now a cautionary tale. So what turned into something that people were trying to save uh, especially in the early days of what was called Comics Gate, uh, when it was a consumer movement, uh, pretty much started by Richard. Okay. Like other people with like Captain Cummings was there before. Um, but the one who put it on the map was Richard, was diversity in comics, the, the channel diversity in comics. Uh, and it was trying to turn the industry down. It was actually reading the comics, exposing all the, the insanity. Uh, I Love Comics was doing it too. Uh, me and me and comics division. That's where we met in the chats for those channels and the live streams. And uh, it's now so instead of saving, it's it's done. It's toast. It's over. And now it's a cautionary tale for other industries. Wolf Hollywood is going in the very same direction. And if people think they're invincible, they're not. They're not. Now they're much too bigger to fail as hard as the comic book industry, but um, fail they will fail they will because they're bleeding market share they're bleeding market share to youtube amongst many other things bleeding it best movies lord of the rings return of the jedi rocky godfather empire strikes back not gonna argue with any except for return of the jedi um return of the jedi is half a 10 out of 10 movie it is it is absolutely, there's scenes in there that are just peak Star Wars. But then there's fucking Ewoks and Harrison Ford acting like a retard. Um, Godfather parts one and two. It's hard to argue. That's like the greatest cinema ever put to film, to celluloid, whatever. Um, have you guys ever watched the epic version? It's called the epic version, right? It's called the epic version. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. It's the one where it's in chronological order. I think it was AMC that would air it in chronological order. I fucking love those. And I know they did it in uh, VHS form, but they have not done it in Blu-ray or DVD or anything. Uh, last time I saw it in that order was back in... God, my sister was in Fallbrook at the time. And I saw it at a hotel in Fallbrook. I want to say 2017. It was fucking great. Great, 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 great. Funkhauser Diecast Racing League for $10. Hey, Gary, been a big fan for years. Thank you for fighting to save our pop culture. So it's uh, it's so sad. My family, has uh, my family has started our own world of content to provide people with that to escape uh, that escape to provide people with that escape, Hollywood won't give us. I can read. That's good. I'm, it's a, like a family thing, too. That's cool as fuck. Gary, did you ever watch The Last Action Hero? I did in theaters. Uh, one of my, one, wait, was that in theaters? I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, one of my favorite, Ar but I did see it. One of my favorite Ar Arnold movies would be cool to see a remake with a different hero, not Arnold. Thoughts in another reality? Yes. But my uh, my my mantra is now: you anything you like, you don't want it remade or touched by this crop in Hollywood right now. Unfortunately, a movie that didn't do that well, not critically loved, but I liked. Said a super chat a couple of weeks ago on the real BBC, but missed the answer. So, advice on getting musty smell out of my old comics. Hail 9.9 .9 says angry goat for 1999. Oh, that is really, really hard. But um, the best way to do it is time. And you need to, for one, get uh, if the musty smell, that's water damage. So that is musty smell is water damage. And it's pretty much impossible to get out. It's pretty much impossible to get out. But I would say bag and board them in acid free boards, myelites individually and maybe over time it it comes out but the musty smell is water damage 
Sorry to report that. Which is death. Uh, now, it depends on the texture of your paper also, right? If it's starting to feel like brittle, then that is definitely water damage. If it's just a musty smell, get them out wherever, get them out of wherever they are, rebag and board them. That may help. Uh, saw Bashki's uh, Lord of the Rings animated movie uh, made in 1978. Love it. Hilariously awful. And I loved it. I fucking love it. Some animation, cool golem and tree bird killed me with laughter. Yeah, I, I dude, I have cells. I have multiple cells from that movie. I have, uh, thanks to fucking Tom at Midnight's Edge, put me down that rabbit hole. But I have six cells from that movie, all with Gandalf in it. I love that movie. What happened to Pirate Bay? I think it's still around. Pretty sure Pirate Bay is still around. I mean, I I wouldn't know if Pirate Bay was still around, but I I do know that they uh, they have tried to take Pirate Bay down for years and never been able to do it. But I would have no knowledge of Pirate Bay not being around, although I know it's still around. If it's down today, that means just somebody got it and it'll sneak off to another server. Don't worry about it. Uh, David uh, Spangenberg for two dollars. What's your opinion on spanking children? Why that is a random question. Spanking children. Um, I'm trying to think back. Uh, I'm not a super big. I I didn't. I don't do it. So I wouldn't spank my children now because they're adults, and one of them six foot five. So it'd look really weird. Um, it'd be really weird. Uh, spanking children, not a fan. I got my ass whooped by my dad and my mom though. And I don't hate them for it. Me personally, not a fan. I mean, if I wanted to strangle them, yes. <laughs> Cause I'm a parent. You just go, what the fuck are you? but, uh, you know, you resist that. That's a weird question. My kids are adults, though, and they love me. What? Gary likes corn the long way? I never said that, Eric K. Don't put corn in my mouth. That's, whew. uh Do not interrupt your enemy when they are eating pineapple pizza. Sun Tzu, the art of war. Uh <laughs> Hey, I was watching uh, Tulsa King, and they brought that. They, well, do not inter interrupt your enemy when he's doing something or something like that. Effect or, uh, no, he didn't say that one. It was something the effect of "Don't be violent." I can't remember now, but I watched. Uh, I did a live stream with Drinker, and that night, like Tulsa King came up. I'm like, I want to watch it again. And I ended up watching the whole fucking thing. It's so good, and good news. The writer, I'm forgetting his name now, but uh, here, hang on. I'll get his name right. The Sopranos writer who uh, co-wrote with Sheridan, who left. Um, where is his name? Yeah. So uh, Terrence Winter. Yes. Terrence Winter, left over creative differences, is now back. And he's not the showrunner, but he's head writer. And he won't have to deal with all the showrunner bullshit. And uh, that's fucking nothing but good news. So it looks like they're going to get going pretty soon on it. Hail to the fellowship. Scarlet Moon Records sends its love. Contra Operation Galuga. Original soundtrack March 5th. MGSC3 composer produced it. San Diego label, by the way. Hail San Diego. Hail Tim Shee. Thank you for the $10. Is, is it Shehi? Is it Shehi? Did I get that right? Or wrong, sorry. A streamer? Oh no, comrade. Here is your shovel. Rich Uncle Cheapskate for $1.99. I said that before. You almost want these dumb motherfuckers to get their fucking communist utopia. So when they get handed what I want Hassan Piker to get his communist utopia because I want to fucking be there. And I think all of you do too. When they 
when the state confiscates his mansion because in communism, you cannot own property. I know some people try to say they can, but if you actually read the Communist Manifesto, manifesto they said, yes, there's private property. It belongs to the community. So you don't own private property. So I want to fucking be there when they take his mansion and they hand him a fucking shovel. And then we could all laugh before we get killed by the state. I can give them some shovel tips. Hail Gary, Forbidden Frontier tonight. Yes, 5.30 Central Time, three, four hours from now. Uh, Gary, any updates on Vegas? Uh, by the way, WG, thank you for the 50. Yeah, get your ass there. I heard maybe Bouncy House for Tardo. Uh, there might be. Comics and Jay, yes, yes. Anyway, please let me know if you guys need anything. All the best. I got your message, and yeah, like, totally down. Like, be there, do what you need, uh, and, uh, you know, you are RSVP'd, so hail. Hail WG. Jimmy Corsetti, Luke Caverns, as for Ben Frontier guest, make it so. We've had him on. We've had them both on. Uh, Luke Caverns been on twice. Jimmy Corsetti's been on once. I was watching Jimmy Corsetti's live stream yesterday. It was quite good. It's quite good. Uh, Hiroku Sanada was also an active producer on Shogun. Shogun. Shogun, sorry. Uh, even down to hand picking the crew, a good sign for future episodes, says Dianyo for five British pounds. Well, he was great in it. In the 1980s, and you're building the MCU, Robert Redford is available. Is he playing Captain uh, or uh, Cap or Matt Murdock? Cap. 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 Um, James Ramar as Wolverine. Uh, you missed my member chat. I emailed you a uh, part two. Here is AI Tucker Carlson narrating the next Lord of the Rings. The Minds of Mordia. Matthew Hammond for $4.99. Cheers. I don't think we're going to have time for it today, but I will... Uh, I will definitely, well, maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, Odin's a 99M. For, thank you for the $1.99. Sorry, I missed your member chat. What is that from earlier? I'm looking. I don't see anything. It automatically pins. It must be from the other day. Must be from the other day. Oh, from uh, probably Real BBC. Okay. Uh, we got a new one. Did we get a new, new one? Hail Gary. I'm going to Vegas. Looking forward to finally meeting you in person and everyone else in the fellowship too. That's the best part. 70s rock fan. I'm fucking, that's awesome that you're going, dude. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you, brother. That's fucking rad. That was rad. All right. Uh, McFate for 1082. We need more. Like Bowie's magic. Yes, we do. But Bowie went home. And there will be an, there will not be another Bowie. Little boy Chinball. He needed the money. He did. Gamer. Uh, that's from Andrew Dice Clay. Uh, Rex Kramer, Danger Seeker. Says, Gamer Word. Reverend for $11. Gary, I recently sub celebrated 11 years sober. Keep up the fight, brother. Cheers. That's congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Uh, hey, guys. Ryan here. Love you all. I'm a pro comic artist working from home. Spent a lot of time listening to you nerds and laughing. You've given me a lot of home. Uh, that's uh, That sanity is making a comeback. Art matters. Hail FNT. And Rye Guts, thank you for $20. Thank you for the $20. All right. So... Yeah, we're we're wrapped up, baby. We wrapped up. We wrapped up. Uh, okay, where did Matthew Hammond? You said you emailed that to me. Okay, give me just a second. We'll we'll look at it. Give me just a moment. Do, 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 do. There it is. Okay. Oh, I've got another crazy email. Okay, so um, ah, thanks, dude. I don't see a link. 
Mm, 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 mm. I got the email. Here is the part two AR. Oh, there it is. There it is. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. So irons in the fire, as they say. We got some irons in the fire. Book. Book's coming along. I just chose the cover. I just chose the cover. We have, I think, you know, it. we have some art stuff to do. So I think it's still like three months away. Could be a little more though. But this is a book I started last year with help, of course. And uh, it will be finished this year for the wins of winter. Just want to point that out. Before my my Picard review, just want to point that out as well. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, but it'll be out this year. Um, another thing, I'm gonna talk to you. We we should be able to like within two weeks. I'll be able to tell you. I can give you a hint. There's a possibility that the solo Nerdrotic Nooner on Monday will return. And amongst other things. Uh, possibility. It's all about my time management, <laughs> to be honest with you, but it's connected to something else. Um, and uh, other thing I can't say shit about right now. You never know. It's, there's always like little irons in the fire and like 75% mm, of the time shit doesn't happen. And that's fine. That's the way it goes. And, and some of it's my decision where it's like, I don't have time for that. I just don't. Um, and some of it's like, I get completely blown off, which is fine too. Uh, that's more time for me, for you guys. All right, let's uh, take a look at this. But yeah, some stuff, uh, kind of excited about it. If it happens, if it doesn't happen, life will go on. Life will go on. All right. Let's see. Hang on. Okay. You guys ready? Thank you, uh, Matthew Hammond, for this, by the way. Let's, let's, let's enjoy this. I love these. Good evening, and welcome to Tucker Carlson Tonight, Middle Earth Edition. As the Fellowship makes their way through the mines of Moria, we'd be foolish not to pause and ask ourselves, what am I willing to sacrifice to ensure that evil doesn't win? It sounds slightly dramatic, but what if it's not? What if it's a soul level question that governs the way we approach reality itself? Sure, you and I might not be facing Balrogs, orcs, and goblins in our day to day, but that doesn't mean there aren't exceptionally real horror inducing threats in our world. Anyone who would try to suggest the opposite is either kidding themselves or they're in on the fix. That's how these things work. And up until I don't know, yesterday, as a society, we knew this. Thankfully, the fellowship reminds us that evil, true evil, is not a force with which to be negotiated. If you pause here and listen closely enough, my guess is that you could probably hear your heart audibly beating in your chest. I'm sorry, but how amazing is that? On a deep, almost primal level, we can't help but feel inspired and righteous when we face the darkness of the world head on without compromise. Here's the circumspect reality of the situation though. Taking on demented psychopaths like Sauron isn't glamorous, easy, or universally celebrated. But that's precisely why we admire the fellowship, is it not? Do you think Gimli cared about being called orcphobic, whatever that means? <laughs> Thoughts and prayers for Gondor, sending positive energy towards Minas Tirith. I think Legolas said that in the second film. Can you imagine? Sure. Sauron wants to kill everyone, but if we resist that, then we're just as bad, said nobody. Opposing evil isn't a radical idea. It's foundational. And in a world full of lies, treachery, malice, and strife, it's worth asking ourselves, what do I stand for? And do I actually mean it? Not bad. Not as good as the first one, but not bad. 
Orc phobic. <laughs> it's not wrong. I love the comment. It's not wrong. Thoughts and prayers for Gondor. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks, Matthew. Uh, Aragorn with the halo. Well, I mean, you know, he's a little, a little messianic. Little, 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 little bit. Little bit. I got. I'm looking at my other email now. Uh, Randall Carlson newsletter. That's exciting. Uh, a lot of uh, proposals from people, third party people about like raid shadow legends and yeah, a lot of just bullshit and some really nice letters from people. Which I appreciate. Uh, we'll do AI Alex Jones next, Matthew. We'll we'll do that one next week. Orc lives matter. All right, I'm gonna get back. Uh, I gotta go uh, do some research. I'm gonna watch some uh, Antarctica stuff to get ready for tonight. Uh, in roughly <clears throat> four hours, four hours we start the show. We got Forbidden Frontier with Garrett's back. Exude Goo and uh, the Krigler, the Krigler, Daddy Krigler. I almost blew it on the fucking stream. <laughs> I almost fucking blew it <laughs> that he was going to be a dad. Uh, and uh, he announced it. So now it's out there. Daddy Krigler is going to be a pop, which is great. So hail to the fellowship. Hail to the Modrotics. Thanks to everyone hanging out, hanging out. Oh, wait, I got some new ones here. I got to get to before we go. Uh, Matthew says, I emailed you a link for the same dude having Alex Jones reading Lord of the Rings. Maybe we can wait Monday. We'll do it Monday, brother. Thank you, though. I just got a copy of Lord of the Rings 78 on DVD. I, I have a Blu-ray. There's a Blu-ray out there. Now, getting The Hobbit a little difficult. I had to get like a Spanish Blu-ray. Uh, it's out there, but yeah, I had to get a Spanish Blu-ray for the, for the Hobbit. But yeah. Uh, the 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 mm, guys what one of the collector's editions for lord of the rings return of the king includes the animated bashki version it does what, what i can't remember which one though chat will remember uh try to email you be uh, uh, will you be thinking of you in june when we're riding hagrid back to back no lines baby oh fuck inject some common sense i am going to go back there but i'm going back there to just be with my I, uh actually quarter black and i kind of discussed like bringing his kids and i'll bring my older kid my younger kid and we'll just go there to 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 be a family and go enjoy it that that is not off the table in all seriousness it sucks that I am, I will very probably never get to meet you and shake your hand. I don't live in the U.S. Well, where do you live, Daneska? Where do you live? Because I'm going to Europe, like a couple of times in the next two years. So, but uh, I hope to meet you. I hope to meet you. Okay, we're out of here. Uh, thanks everyone again. Uh, and I'll see you a little later tonight. I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, waiting for the Super Chat Square. I do. I really do. So uh, we're, we all cut up and uh, I will catch you next time. Take care. Thanks again, Modrotics. And all you guys, you're awesome.